Okay, feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders lined up. Activate your core, ribs towards your spine and up and shoulders back and down. And just feel that mountain pose beginning to stretch things apart as you reach your head toward the ceiling. Take a few moments there, breathing in, drawing in energy and awareness. Exhale all that stress and tension. And just get ready for our yoga practice. Spread your toes, inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level, stretch the fingertips out. Exhale, hands to your heart, elbows back, feel the chest staying open. Inhale, arms out to the front, keep stretching the neck up. Exhale, hands behind you, just gently clasp the fingers behind you, press them down and lift your heart. Feel the chest expand, the lungs open. Keep lengthening through your spine. Don't lift your chin too high. No crunching that back of the neck. And then inhale, upright. Exhale, and release. No, we forgot to pivot forward. Let's do that again. <laughs> inhale, stretch it out. Exhale to your heart. Stretch to the front. Clasp your hands behind you. Heart hugs, hands down, and then pivot over. Come on. Head up, just moving around, letting that neck release. Hands toward your head. <clears throat> Lift your sitting bones, stretching your legs. Get a little extra along the back of your body there. And then bend your knees slightly, work your way back up. Slowly unwind and lift your heart, drop your shoulders and stretch your head back. But again, don't lift your chin too much. You want to keep stretching through the neck, keeping those blood vessels nice and open as well. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Take a moment, feel your body, spread your toes out, stretch your spine apart, and again, arms at shoulder level, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way to find you, shifting one finger over. And again, lifting your heart, opening your spine, and also your lungs. Pivot over, just exhale into that forward stretch for your low back. Take a few breaths there, stretching as much as you'd like. And again, with the knees slightly bent, work your way all the way up into a nice upper body back bend. Always stretching, opening, keeping things lengthening throughout every part of your body. Inhale to the top. Release your arms. Take a moment just feeling that circulation increasing, energy flowing through your spine. And side stretches. Let's bring the arms both out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Clasp them and bring the arms back by your ears. Sitting bones down, crown high. Keep that whole body nice and open, facing forward as you lean to the side. So remember, no twist. Don't lean forward and then push the foot you're leaning away from to actually expand those roots a little bit more. Feel the whole side lengthen. <clears throat> and then inhale up and excuse me, switch your arms around. And again, arms next to your ear, shoulders down, sitting bones down, crown high, and lean to the other side. Once again, just let those ribs stretch apart with the foot down and the heels reaching it. Inhale back to the center and release. Feel the sides a little bit more activated. Side to side motion for the spine that time. And this time we're twisting. <coughs> Sorry, my allergies. So feet hip width apart, sitting bones down, really stretch the base of the spine and base of the skull apart for that twist action in the middle of the back. Arms at your shoulder level, palms up and hands above your shoulders. Just clasp your elbows, pull your arms next to your ears, stretch out through the crown, down with the sitting bones, and turn to one side for your twist. Take a breath, exhale, open. Take a moment and breathe. 
Just hanging there, lifting your sitting bones, letting the legs stretch, relax through the arms and shoulders. And then inhale your way up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, pull your elbows back. So upper body only for your back bend, especially when your low back is twisting. Take a moment and breathe. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms around. And again, by the ears with those arms, sitting bones and spine stretching apart. Exhale to the others. Another breath and exhale over. And again, just hang for a moment, letting things release, whatever they might be tight. Keep the weight on both feet as evenly as you can. And then staying that way in the twist, work your way into the upper body back then. <coughs> Take a moment and breathe, stretching the elbows back and the heart high. Inhale, upright, exhale around to the center, bring your arms up to extended mountain pose, shoulders bow down, sitting bones down, and stretching, lengthening in extended mountain, swan dive forward. So bring your arms to shoulder level, pivot at your hips, push the sitting bones and crown away from each other as you get parallel to the floor, stretch it apart, and then drop into ragdoll, just hanging. Lifting the spinning bands, feel the legs get a little more stretch. Tuck in your chin. You can pull in deeper with your hands behind your legs if you want to. Feel that back of your body getting a good length of it. And then hands to the front, knees slightly bent. Wind your way all the way back up. Okay, back in mountain pose. Let's take a moment and just angle your toes out. Bend your knees toward, but not beyond your toes, hands above your knees. So keep the sitting bones going back, <clears throat> the base of the skull going the opposite direction. So you're stretching, little twist again. So bring your shoulder across toward the opposite knee, turning hips, ribs, and spine, and shoulders, everything turning slightly to the side as you go into that gentle twist. So just bringing the shoulder down, hips back. And then exhale, turn back toward the center, stretch everything long <coughs> through the spine. And then twist to the opposite side. And again, lengthening, separating those bones of your spine so that you can turn your whole body into the side motion. Hips going slightly up on the side you're turning toward and the ribs also, as well as the shoulder. Just keep the whole neck aligned with the rest of the spine, no crunching in the neck. And then exhale, turning back to the center. Round your shoulders slightly, come on all the way back up and into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just again, <clears throat> feel your spine and relax your shoulders. So here we are back in mountain pose. Let's bring the arms out, shoulder level, palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders. Take a moment to straighten your spine, stretching it apart. We'll go into our chair pose squat. So sitting bones go back, knees toward, but not beyond your toes. The sitting bones go way behind you, and then you come squatting down as much as your knees want to go. So as much as parallel to the floor with your thigh bones or not, but keep your spine straight as much as you can. So the sitting bones and crown, base of the skull are still all stretching apart from each other. Arms stay next to your ears, shoulders, shoulder blades still toward your waist. And just deepen into your squat as much as you want. Take a moment breathing. And then fingertips leading, come on all the way back up, palms out, and arms back to your sides. Feel your spine a little bit more stretched apart, and feel your hips maybe a little bit more activated as well. Stretch up through the crown, separating the bones, going into our windmill twist. So just turn from one side to the other, remember, 
the whole spine stays straight as you do this. So you're not just turning your neck or moving your shoulders. The whole body, hips, ribs, and shoulder are turning the same direction each time. Crown is reaching high, sitting bones down. And then again, back to the center. Just feel a little bit more circulation there through your torso. And spread your toes out. Let's do our gentle balance practice. So make sure your ankle, knee, hip, and shoulder are lined up on your favorite balance foot. Making sure the knee is going toward that second toe so those are lined up. That may mean that instead of letting your toes go out to the side, you pull them back to the center. So a little twist inward at the top of the leg. Spread the toes out, lift them up, no gripping with the toes. Get the heel and base of the toes, ball of the foot area, evenly sinking down. Activate your core, remember, ribs towards your spine and up so you're supporting your low back. Sitting bones toward the floor, crown toward the ceiling, everything's stretching apart, sink into that foot, bring the other leg up. Again, make sure it's not stretching out or across, but straight. Bring it as far up as you want. It can be close to the floor, that's okay. Just get your balance, find your stability, and then move your ankle around because we don't want them getting stiff. Relax your shoulders, sitting bones and crowns stretch apart, and then flex your foot a few times and straighten it out before you put it down. Switch to that side. <clears throat> Take a moment to align everything on that side, activating all the way up, shoulders relaxing, spread those toes out. Remember, no gripping, that makes that have less support. And again, when you're ready, bring the other leg up as far as it wants to come. Take a moment there, get the fruit fly out of your face, <laughs> and circle your ankle. Take a moment, breathing. Just letting things release in that ankle. Find your stability. And again, flex and point before you put the foot back down. Sitting bones toward the floor, core active, shoulders above your ankles, and crown reaching toward the ceiling once more. Hands to your heart. Look at your thumbs as you inhale and bring them toward the ceiling. Into a little back bend, lifting chest high. And then exhale and bring your hands to your heart, pivot on over and ragdoll again. Slide your hands up under your knees for your halfway up stretch, shoulders back and down toward your hips. So elbows, knees, and spine, everything straight as possible. And then bend your knees, then come to the floor, transitioning down into child's pose. Hips back on your heels or toward them and forehead toward the floor. Remember, you can always pad between your calves and thighs or heels and hips for a little release in your knees if you need that. Again, your chin just slightly stretch the back of your neck. Exhale any tension in your shoulders. Just let them drop down as much as they want. And then inhale, sitting up and slide off into staff position. So heels are pressing out, toes pulling back, knees and toes both up toward the ceiling. Feet about hip width apart. Ankles or hips and shoulders lined up and crown toward the ceiling, activating your core for support on your low back. Remember, you can have a little cushion under you to tip you a little bit forward if that helps raise those sitting bones and give you a little bit more ease through the hips. We're going to warm up the hips a little bit while we're seated. So go ahead and bring one foot up to the other leg thigh and let the knee come down toward the floor. So remember, a couple things. Knee and toes stay up. If this feels really tight in your hips, bring the leg over to the side or get more padding behind you and let that have a little bit more easy opening through the hips on those legs. Knee coming down, but remember, don't press, don't push. 
Just you can add a little weight with your hands if you want to, but you don't want to tense and tighten it because that makes it resist and it's harder to let that knee release and the hip relax. You just want things relaxing in yoga because effortless is our intention. We don't want to force anything. So just let that happen as much as it wants. And then bring your ankle and knee into your hands or pull your leg in with your arms wrapped around and just rotate side to side to get activated in that hip, warming up the fluid in the joint a little bit more if that's working for your body. So just gently or more intensely with the leg higher or closer if you love it. But remember, personal practice. Do what's right for your body. And then releasing that back into staff position, what you want to notice is that the two sides are now different. So yeah, we got to do the others. Bring the other foot up, knee going down. And again, just as intensely as you like, keep the toes and knees up on the extended to the front leg. Bring it over to the side to make it easier if you want to. And again, just breathe there, relaxing, or you can add a little weight, but no pressure. So don't push, because when you push, there's resistance, and it makes it less easy for the muscles to relax. Take a breath. Just let things go where they need to go in your body. Remember, you can do these multitasking, watching TV, just sitting there on the floor, gently working your yoga whenever you want to. And then bringing the leg up into your arms or hands, bring the foot side to side, rotating that knee gently out and back. And again, just feel the warmth increasing in that hip fluid as it gets a little easier. Make it how intense or not intense as you need. And again, when you release, coming back into staff position, just feel your hips a little bit easier in that position. And then bringing the bottoms of your feet together into butterfly, bring the knees out to the sides and let them drop down toward the floor, maybe a little bit more or not. Depends on how tight your inner thighs and muscles are in your knees and hips and legs. So again, core is activated, shoulders above your hips, crown toward the ceiling, knees coming out and down as much or as little as they want. They may be up here if you have an injury or tightness. <coughs> Just go where your body needs to go and then relax. And again, you can add the weight of your hands if you want on your knees, but no pressure. Just allow that to have a little additional opening if it wants to. And then we're going to bring the hands once more right under your shoulders behind you on the floor. So either fingers or palms, whatever works for you, down on the floor. Just a little more weight into the hands, and that releases that inner abdominal area and lets things release a little bit more with those knees coming out and down. So let it happen. Don't force it. Just breathe. Exhale any tension. And of course, another multitasking position, watching TV or doing whatever you might be doing sitting on the floor, still allows those muscles to release and relax on their own, not forcing it. And then bringing your hands back to the center, go ahead and lift the knees and extend the legs once more back out into staff position. Take a moment there. You can stay in staff position or you can just come into a cross leg position. But of course, if you do that, switch the legs around because we habitually do one side always and we neglect the other. Sitting bones behind you, core active, spine aligned, shoulders above your hips. Take a moment, keep lengthening through the spine throughout, and we're going to work the neck a little bit. So bring your chin into your throat center, let the back of your neck get a good stretch. Shoulders are back and down, shoulder blades towards your waist. Feel the neck stretch just gently, let it happen, don't force it. And if you want a little extra weight, we're bringing the hands one at a time to the back of the head. But again, no pressure, 
just add weight. So don't push. If you push, those muscles release or contract and don't stretch as easily. So you want to let them have their stretch. Just exhale. As you exhale, everything releases a little bit more. So just go there. Take a breath. Exhale the tension. And then releasing your hands, tip your head back straight up. Feel the stretch through the back of the neck, the circulation going back there. We're going to lift the chin just a little so you feel the stretch on the front of your throat, but not too much. And then move the jaw around. And tip the head back upright. Switch the legs around because we like to balance things out. If you're still in staff position, that's fine. Stretch it up. And we're tipping an ear over toward one side. So remember, the shoulders both stay down. The ear just goes over as far as it wants. It will never reach the shoulders, so that's okay. And we're stretching the muscles on the opposite side. So just feel them. Let them relax. The more they release, that's further you stretch. And bring the hand you're tipping toward up again, adding weight, not pressure. Just let it happen. Exhale, tightness. And then bring the other hand down next to you for a little extra stretch if you want it. Fingertips or palm down, either way. Just feel that intensity a little bit more and then relax out of it, letting things release even further. And then releasing your hands back to your sides or lap, tip your head upright. And again, let's switch the legs around so that we can do the other, other side. So everything is aligned, core activated, spine stretching apart as you tip your ear to the opposite shoulder. Keep the shoulders both down, just relax, bringing that hand you're tipping toward up once more. Again, you're just adding weight, not pressure. Make sure that you're not tipping the chin up or down, but letting the side of the head get the stretch. Take a moment and breathe, both shoulders relaxing, just adding weight, intensify with the hand to the floor if you want or not, personal choice. Take a moment just breathing and releasing any tightness and letting the stretch happen. And then releasing both hands, tip your head back upright, feel a little more circulation through the neck. And then lifting your knees again, bring the legs out to staff position if you were cross-legged, and bring the feet to the end of the mat. Sitting bones slightly behind you, core active, and just slowly roll to the floor. Bring your hands to T position, either palms up or down for our twist. So sitting bones toward the heels, back pressing gently down, heels in next to your sitting bones, knees straight up. Press the back gently down as you lift the feet off the floor, knees above your hips. Roll the knees over to one side and relax the shoulders down. So the more the knees go over, that's your lower back twist. Shoulders down for that middle back twist. And if your neck needs a little twist, you can turn your head slightly toward that arm behind you, but remember, don't overdo the neck if you have any neck stiffness. Take a breath. Just relax. Let your twist happen. Remember, never force a twist. Just exhale, letting the ligaments release your body deepen when it's ready. And then to release, heels toward your hips, roll up onto your back, and straighten things out. Hands, palms up or down, and twisting to the other side. Knees right at hip level, and again, turning your head only if that's appropriate for your neck. Knees coming down for your lower back, and keep those shoulders on the floor. That is the middle back working your twist. Take a moment there, just breathing, relaxing, deepening into the twist as much or little as your body needs. Always personal twist practice. 
and releasing, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, bring your feet to the floor, slide it out, and come into corpse position for our final relaxation. Exhale, <clears throat> let your shoulders sink, your body grow heavy, toes slightly toward each other, just letting your legs relax then. Hands, palms up, and keeping those shoulders nice and open, heart focusing toward the ceiling as well. Move your head gently side to side, releasing any tension in the neck. Soften your jaw. And just allow your neck to stretch along with your spine. Exhale, just let your body grow heavy and sink deep into that surface beneath you. As you breathe in, relax, just deep and gently into that surface, letting Mother Earth support you. Feeling that peace deep within, feeling you. Releasing any tightness. And as your body relaxes, just release awareness of your body. And as other thoughts come to you as they will, just release those thoughts as well. There's no need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just know that it's the job of your mind to produce those thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. Let the thoughts disappear as easily as your breath. No need to focus on any content. Just allow your awareness to fill with the peace within, filling your mind, filling your body, taking a few moments just to be peace. And just allow that peace to keep filling in, guiding you, relaxing you, as long as you have time and opportunity. If it's time, though, to activate for the rest of your day, begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And just begin moving your body gently as you breathe more deeply, getting ready for that final yoga hug of appreciation. And when you're ready for that, bring your sitting bones again toward your heels, heels up toward your hips, and knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around, give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, bring your head and feet to the floor, rolling to the side, sitting back up, getting ready or whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.